demonstrate proper use of these tools, we're going to start with the wedge prism. Wedge prism, you want to keep over the center point of your plot. You can use the leather case as a plumb bob, which makes that pretty simple. So you pull that over the point center and then you sight your wedge prism. It's pretty simple working in two man, excuse me, two person crews. One person can be the person sighting your prism or your instrument, and then the other person can be recording DVH. So, Norway spruce in. Fifteen point zero inches. And I can record that on a notepad. And to go on, noise spruce in. No further one. I think it's good practice to start with whatever tree's closest to you. Sixteen point eight inches. So I would record sixteen point eight. Noise spruce. Let's see. That pole in front of you is out. That one's in. And so on and so forth. You would continue doing that until you've turned a 360 degree arc with your prism or your angle gauge. Now using the angle gauge. Very similar use to using a prism, although there's one major difference. Prism, you'd want to keep over the plot center when using an angle gauge. Your eye is now the vertex of that critical angle through the woods, so you want to stand directly over the point center. Plant your heel directly over the point, Hold your angle gauge, either hold it to your cheek like this, or if you want to be a little more hands-free in your mouth, so you hold it, and then you sight your angle gauge. So, in tree, in, out, in, and then we got a borderline tree. So now we're going to go into our next topic of how to determine if a borderline tree is in or out. Borderline trees, they can be difficult to determine if they're in or out. We're going to discuss how to determine that accurately using some math. So, first, Ursilio is going to measure the distance from point center to the center of the borderline tree. Thirty four point two. Thirty four point two. Record that on your calculator or your notepad. Then he's going to record DBH to the tenth of an inch. Thirteen point two. Thirteen point two. Enter that. We're going to multiply that diameter at breast height measurement by our plot radius factor. For a 10 BAF prism, that's 2.75. That gives us 36.3 feet. Now, for a 13.2 inch tree, it has to be the critical angle for that tree to fill is 36.3 feet. If it's further away than that, it would be an out tree. If it's closer than that, it's an in-tree. In our case, 34.2 is closer, is a smaller value than 36.3. So that would be considered an in-tree. 
if we ended up with, let's say, 38.5, that tree would be considered out since that is bigger than our uh, critical angle value. Different basal area factors have different PRF values. We'll show you the formula to determine them.